欢迎嚟到咖喱英语教室第六集。Welcome to the six uh less six lesson of Gary's English learning center. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Yeah. So my problem is that um I I I I was very confident um before um um Gary's taught pointing out my mistakes, but after he, he after his his lesson, I become very Um, hesitating, too self-conscious. Yeah, too self-conscious. Too self-conscious. We yeah. shouldn't do it really. I, just, <laughs> I don't really want to do that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let people know how good your English is, right? Sure, so, sure, sure, sure. So that they're rightly or, or, or actually el- impressed. Yeah, or else there will be no improvement. Yeah, yeah, they, on my yeah, part, they should be impressed, right? They, yeah, they shouldn't be not impressed. Yeah. So I, I start again as a primary school student <laughs> here. In that respect, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about、um, mistakes or errors. Um, there are lots of um errors made by the local um Cantonese speakers or writers,、mm-hmm. and one of the most conspicuous example is that um. Let's take this case as an example. This is a very respectable academic academic journal,、mm-hmm. and um, Chinese name is Guo Hong San Si Ye. Actually, it's about Chinese, but、um, they got a bilingual、um, content.、Mm, content. Content. <laughs> <laughs> and the word、um, here is for Moklok is content. Content. Yeah. And again, here this is another example.、Um, a house magazine by the Hong Kong Journalists Association, the journalist. And again, for Moklok, the word is content. These are two、um, very highbrow. Magazine yeah, channels, yeah, they are, they? Yeah. ironically, to 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 borrow the word used by Gary, and this is one is this one is free, which I got from the MTR. Right. Yeah. And it's pop, pop, pop yeah. Pop. Yeah. So very low brow. That very、right. low yeah, brow. Yeah.、Um, with all the advertisements, but、uh, the word is contents. Contents. Yeah. Contents, which is correct.、Yeah. Which is correct. Yeah. So would you mind to point out the、uh, the reason why these two are mistakes and this one is the right one? Well. A、uh, content is what is contained in something. Content, what is contained in something.、Mm. So it's the contents, and we don't normally know ha- what is contained.、Mm. There won't be one thing. So it's contents in the plural.、Mm. So if we don't know, we do know that there's more than one thing. Then it'd be contents. Yeah. What is contained within something, whether it be a bag、mm. or or a book, is what、yeah. is contained within. So if I say there are some things <coughs> in my in my in my bag and. Would you say contents or、yeah. content? What are the contents? Contents. Contents. Contents of your bag. Yeah. Of bags. Yeah. Yeah. What are the contents of this book? Yeah, and、uh, would I say that the content of this film is very stylish? That's different, right? That's kind of a more of a, a, a qualitative,、mm. a quality kind of a qualitative judgment, really. Yeah. So an, an appraisal. Yeah. So in that case, then we would use content.、Mm. Yeah. The content of the the film was very stylish, yeah. And well, the content was very violent, yeah, or something like that. And that comes to the one of the greatest problem of、um, Chinese learners in when they learn English, because they got confused by be, between them, countable noun and non countable noun. That is a really confusing one. Yeah, it doesn't always hold true. But if we say content here,、uh, can be the quality of the film, what kind of film it is. Um, it can also mean that you're satisfied. Yeah, yeah I'm content. <laughs> <laughs> so we might say I'm content. <laughs> I'm content. I'm happy. I'm satisfied with myself. Yeah, and and the, the reason why we 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 point out this、um, mistakes in in this program is that um, um here in Hong Kong people very easy to get confused by the pros.、Mm. I mean um, um they usually they they will forget the the the, the s. Yeah. At the end, let's say an,、uh, let's point out another example. Bill Gates、mm. instead of Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Yeah. Yeah. You, people will say Bill Gates in Hong Kong, Hong Kong but just but, not saying the N consonant. Yeah. The N consonant. It's difficult when it's when it's blended. Yeah. When it's blended. blended, so it's blended. Gates. Yeah. 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 So、um, another example is、um, Steve Jobs. Yeah. Steve which, Jobs. Yeah. Yeah. With S and、yeah. um, people will say Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Yeah. 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 Would you ask for a job? From Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you can't because he's dead now. He was still around. Yeah, yeah he's still around. So, um,、uh, what is your advice about learning this um, um, countable and 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 non-countable nouns? What's my advice? Um, spot there, really. <laughs>、uh, my advice really is um, you have to you have to think about the situation. Grammar is not grammar is not 
learning some rules is th about the thought process behind I'm trying what you mean to say, getting across what you mean to say. The meaning of the yeah, word. Yeah, the meaning, yeah, the meaning, yeah. 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 Understanding the meaning. Yeah. And not just, the, not, not just learning some rules. Yeah. And, and don't think it in, in, in a mechanical or auto automatic way. The, the plural of, of, of a word may not be, just mean the, 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 the plurality of this, yeah. the, these things. Yeah. It, it can mean in another thing yeah. as, as well. So every time you, whenever, whenever you're not, not, not sure, check the dictionary. That this is right. Yeah, the I mean, safest way. <clears throat> and another source of confusion is something like somebody goes to a show or something like that. They say, they say, I am boring. Yeah, oh, which know, is, <laughs> I, which means that you are very boring. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You're not really. You're not really boring. You know. Yeah. But that's not what they mean. They mean yeah. they, I am bored. You know. Yeah. I am bored by the show. Or, 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 or in the opposite way, they are excited. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. exciting. Yeah, huh? I don't think you're very exciting. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited or interested. Right. Well, this show is very exciting. Yeah, and we are so excited. We're excited <laughs> to do this show, right? Yeah. 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 So you see the, the the difference. And now, um, another another point I would like to raise in this program is that how can we speak um, very natural or idiomatic English? Yeah, natural. You see, you have to use idiom. You know, idioms yeah. in in this kind of yeah in the kind of thing. So, um, like we had the we had the the tea before. You know, yeah. And people would say to um, maybe you know this one, but just to give you an example, it's my cup of tea. Mm. And what do they mean? Yeah, they mean I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like football is my cup of tea. Yeah. So it sounds very strange, but yeah. people would say that. <laughs> yeah. If you if you don't learn normal natural kind of English then you'll get confused if it's just from a book. Oh, because you, you take the meaning literally. Yeah, you take the, yeah. yeah. I mean, football is my cup of tea is... Word by word, yeah. and that, then you got the wrong meaning. Another example that I can point out is that uh, out to lunch. Out to lunch, yeah. Yeah, which does not mean... Yeah, not you, mean they're out to lunch. Yeah, like out to lunch. What, what does it mean? It means they're a bit crazy, really. Yeah, crazy. Somebody's a bit crazy, really. <laughs> so when, next time when I say, yeah. is Gary out, out, out to lunch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it does not mean that um, I, uh, uh, I'm asking whether Gary is out to get a lunch. That's right. There's, there's many ways we can say, you know, you're crazy, really. He's a sandwich short of a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not all there. It's not all there. Yeah. W would, you, would you mind to repeat that? A sandwich. Sandwich. Short of a picnic. Sandwich short, short of, of a picnic. So of a pic I've never got the whole picnic there, yeah. but there's the sandwich missing. Oh, sandwich there's missing. something missing. You know? Something missing. Yeah. You can say a, 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 a chapter short of a book. A chapter <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. something missing, right? Yeah, something missing. Maybe in, in sometime in the future, we should find some um, Chinese equivalent of this English idioms. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, another example, very famous example, I would like to ask um, Gary because... Um, uh, both um, Gary and me are very um, uh, uh, diehard listeners of English pop songs. Mm -hmm, what yeah, does yeah. Um, I heard it through the grapevine mean? I heard it through the grapevine. Mm -hmm. We heard it by by a rumor, rumor. by rumors. Yeah, wow. that's really I heard which it. might be true or not true. Yeah, which might be not true or not true. You know, mm -hmm. and the grapevine is where the well the grapes come from, the wine comes from. Mm -hmm. So when people have a bit of wine. Or bear jowl. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Then, then, then they tend to say say what they shouldn't say, really. So yeah. Then again, that's the double thing, really. Yeah. Double, for this one, I can I can give you the the <coughs> Chinese equivalent. In Chinese, it's mean dou ting dou shu. Yeah. So, do you know who sang this song? Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. I can I can do it on my ukulele as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can he can sing it here. But yeah. uh, there's another very famous group um doing the song. Oh. C C R. CCR, right. uh, Credence Clear right, Water right, Revival. Yeah. 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 So, which version do you <coughs> think is um, the better one? I usually go for the original, actually. Oh, original. Yeah, the original. You like original? Yeah, I like original. You don't like cover? <laughs> Sometimes it works, but usually it does not, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, the, 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 the reason why that we point out this example is that um, because they are so idiomatic, you will encounter this. Idioms. Yeah, but that's the way we speak, isn't it? And, yeah. and it's true yeah. in Cantonese as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 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 it is the same for for Gary. He when he have to um, uh, follow some Chinese idioms, he also get into trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can get into you, you, Cantonese is a minefield, <laughs> especially it's very difficult, yeah. especially with the tones. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> 
I got in some trouble before, you know. Yeah. So I, uh, when I was on that market stall, I, uh, um, one of the stallholders asked me, he said, uh, how is your business? Mm. And I had you know, very little Cantonese, so I said, siu, mm. <laughs> a little bit, lei, siu <laughs> lei. And he looked at me like, what's the matter, you know? <laughs> but I was just trying to use my minimum Cantonese just to reply politely. But <laughs> it went completely yeah. wrong. Uh, you know, yeah, you should be forgiven because you don't know too much Cantonese. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but in that case, I guess it's a spe it might be better for you to, to, to switch to English instead. Yeah, you know, yeah. there was another one with, with the, the darn go and the darn gal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, you can, you can make mistakes. And you know, you're talking about phrasal verbs as well. You know, we speak in phrasal verbs, you know? Yeah, such as um, give in, give in. Give in, yeah, give in, yeah. which is submit, yeah. Yes, submit. In, submit yeah. yeah. And I always thought to myself, if, um, I can put up with somebody. Yeah, which if means I, you bear with. Yeah, I tolerate, I bear, bear, put up with somebody, right? Yeah. But if I put them up, yeah, then it's I accommodate them. Accommodate. And they can come and stay in my house, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're the kind of opposite meanings, but I put up, I put yeah. up with. Yeah. You know, there's, there's some examples of the language that we use, you know. Yeah. So um, uh, where where can you get this example? Or where can you learn this um, very idiomatic English? In, um, there, are, there are some publications you can you can learn it, of course, you know, um, of course I know them. But, I mean, you can find some publications uh, um, in, in Hong Kong. Maybe we could we could show you a few in the, in the program at a future date. Yeah. And also compile some and share, share some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess that the trick is that um, you you try to concentrate whenever you um, listen to some native English speakers yeah. in their conversa daily conversation, and usually they would use the they will, that's the way they will speak. They, they, Most people yeah. won't won't say oh, I can't tolerate him. Yeah. Well, they might, you know, <laughs> but they might, but they you know, might just as likely to say I can't put up with him. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I can't stand him. It's another yeah. thing. I can't stand him. Yeah. The problem with us is that usually we will not. Uh, we we do not learn it from the real English, um, genuine English conversations. We learn it from the book, which is yeah. um, very bookish. It is very book, yeah, and not very idiomatic. Uh, and in the textbooks, I don't see the word "nice" even, which is such a common, commonly used word in English. Nice. It is nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. It's such a have a nice day. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's in, I don't see it in the textbook. Okay, another example. Just uh, as you point uh, as you pointed out, I can give you an, 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 another example. And um, one of my English teachers um, used to say "jolly good." Yeah. What, what does it mean? I I, I can't find it. Well, on, jolly, just another way to say very good. You know? Very good. Yeah, jolly is happy kind of thing. Uh, jolly, yeah. jolly, jolly good. good. Yeah. You know, like when we said when we said "cheers" in the last program. Yeah. Cheers actually means happiness. Happiness. So when I say "cheers," I'm wishing you happiness. Yeah. And my favorite way of saying goodbye is. Cheerio. Yeah, cheerio. Cheerio. Because cheerio. it's like a happy goodbye. You know? Yeah. Do you know there's an English um, uh, TV program, uh, American TV program called Cheers? There was, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cheers, yeah. It means the same thing. Yeah, that's right. Cheers. Happiness, really. Yeah, yeah. Wishing you happiness. Well, if you could break it down. Would you mind explain some of the differences between um, American idioms and, and British idioms? Uh, I don't know any American. I don't know, <laughs> I know any American idioms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any American idioms. Let's say um, the word guy. This guy. guy or that guy? This guy or that guy, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you use it in, 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 in England? Oh, we, we do now, you know, because, because uh, you know... Because of American the American culture is so yeah, prevalent. Yeah. You're prevalent, yeah. It's so prevalent. If you, as I do, listen to the uh, international school students, mm. they speak with an American accent now. Oh, well, yeah, well, they now. do, yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. But, you know. you know, this is strange to me because um, I got this hang-up with um, British English. I mean... I, I would like to learn very much. I mean, I would like to to speak very British English instead of American English. But I guess right now it is not the same anymore. Even in 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 London, people will try to imitate their American accent. Is well, that true? All kinds in London, the situation is different because it's very very um, metropolitan in in London. They're, yeah, they're, you know, people from all over the world in in living in London. It's like a miniature world, really. Mm. Yeah, it still is, but but um. Well, as, uh, well, as in the first program, mm. there is a middle English. It's not a question of being, being English English. It's a question of it being a middle English that mm. everybody can use as a common platform for communication. Yeah. And if we go into our different 
accents, whether it be American or Australian kind of accent or, or, uh, or even a French kind of English accent or Indian <laughs> English accent, then we're going to find it very difficult to communicate. Yeah. So we, teachers, you usually find, will speak this Middle English. If they don't, they're not really... Which is the common denominator. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we can all aim for that Middle English, I would call it, really. Yeah. Standard English. Mm. Then we can communicate easier between people because it's the language of the world. Mm. If somebody's speaking with a heavy French accent to somebody with a heavy Chinese accent, mm. the, the communications get yeah. more and more difficult. The, 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 the reason is that um, English um, is an international language. Mm. So we have to um, adjust the 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 way it the uh, uh, the way of presentation and the the way they they speak to everyone who every English speakers in the in every corner of the world yeah every yeah. corner of the world so as a as somebody in Hong Kong you may have a, a tourist who's coming from Italy or something mm. who is speaking English with an Italian accent <laughs> that you have to try and understand <laughs> you know but if you're replying oh there's other there they you know <laughs> I'm, it's, is it is it are you really going to be able to communicate in english yeah yeah you know? yeah but um 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 my my question is that um if you want to be respectable in in london, let's say in london mm -hmm. would you say how do you do or how do you get how you're getting on or things like that and uh, nice to meet you or, or something like that it depends really if, it, if it's a formal occasion okay, for, formal occasion or a first meeting you know yeah, yeah. let's yeah. let's say i when uh, when you know, i i meet you the first time what what should i say in london to make myself respectable. You, you would, how do you do would be the most polite. How do you still, do? Still would, I think. Yeah. Yes, how, how do you do? do? Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. How yeah. do you do? Yeah. That would still be in your, in your first meeting, so you're being polite, you don't know the person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, what uh, will make us very rude to, to, to the English people um, if uh, we, we, we say it in, in, in the American way? I mean, uh, howdy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? Is that, yeah, yeah. That's very rude. Yeah, that's very, well, it's very, very casual. You know? Casual. Very casual. What's up? You know? Yeah. Because when I was in, 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 in Frankfurt or Berlin, the Germans would speak that kind of English. So I, get, I, feel, I felt that very un uncomfortable. Very casual kind of English. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Because they learn it from the TV if, they, if they're trying to. If oh, that's interested. the problem of yeah. idiomatic English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know them. The, 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 the whether it is polite, polite or rude, mm. because um, it may be a very familiar situation, which may not be, be, be your case. Yeah, but yeah. you know, if you were going for a, a new client in business, to see a new client business in business ended. or something like that, yeah. you know, you go, yeah. hey, what's up? <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to go down very well, you <laughs> yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of thing. Yeah, and, and how we, we say, um, I mean, um, when, we, when the meeting is over or we, when we park company, what will you say? So we say goodbye or, or something else. It's, it's been a pleasure, you know, something it's like that. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. It was nice. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. yeah, just to be polite. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope we can do this again, you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I guess in the future we might spend some time to teach uh, to talk about how to be polite in English. Yeah, in different situations, I think be, yeah. that would be useful. Yeah, and and um, what about um, if I ask so, um, your favor to do something? I mean. What would I say? Would you like to, or, or could you, um, could you please? Yeah, could, could you please? Please, please is the magic remember word. it was it's a um, magic word. It, it is a a, a okay. past tense. Yeah. Could you instead yeah, please, of can't you? you? Could you? But that's different, you know. I yeah. mean, in, in that case, it's kind of um, a language fossil kind of thing. Really, it might not be grammatically correct, but it's what we say. It's like, would you like a cup of tea? Eddie? Would you like? Yeah. Would, would you, you like, like a cup of tea? tea yeah. 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 And um, I would if I was thirsty, but we don't analyze it that much. It's just what we say, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, what that that is very idiomatic. You know, just like in in Cantonese, sick your farm, mate. You do not having rice every time. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it does not literally mean that you you are asking this person whether he had dinner or not. Yeah. It just show your respect. That's right. Or, yeah. or, or your politeness. In a similar similar way. Yeah. So you have to remember it instead of um, yeah. trying to find the the, 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 the the deeper meaning of that. Yeah, you have to remember that. Would you like to um, have a lunch with me after the program? I would love to. Yeah, yeah. I would love to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, again, it is about time to end this program and we will see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. 
喺呢一个网络言论自由被打压嘅年代，我哋依然坚持自我做好节目，坚拒自我审查，因为我哋相信内容有价，而你哋嘅支持就至关重要。请大家订阅梁锦祥工作室 Patreon， 并立刻成为付费会员，守护自由言论。而我哋喺 YouTube 频道上面嘅每一节节目，都要麻烦大家记得按赞、分享、留言同埋揿钟仔啊！感谢大家一直支持梁锦祥工作室节目。